Hey everybody, I recently had a chance to uh, visit Cahokia Mound Site, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site in uh, southwestern Illinois, not far from St. Louis, Missouri. This is a site of uh, quite a few Native American mounds that were built all or mostly oh, um, over a thousand years ago. When the mounds were built, there was already a city here larger at the time than London or Paris. It was the largest city in North America. And here as you drive into the site, you can see all those thousand-year-old mounds out there. Quite an amazing site, really. This is Monk's Mound. It's the largest of the bunch. It's 100 feet tall. It was built by Native American people carrying baskets of soil one basket at a time. The perimeter of it is approximately the same size as the Great Pyramids of Giza. The terraced entrance there was added on later by Native Americans to probably help with a problem called slumping. Here you can see an Instagram photo I posted from the site that day. Slumping is uh, basically a result of rainwater because it has a flat top Rainwater soaks in and um, dislodges the soil and causes the uh, mound to more or less slump. See, now we've got a modern set of concrete stairs that go up, and a lot of people actually come there from the local area just to get exercise. And I can tell you from walking those steps, it's a lot more than it looks like. <laughs> it's quite a workout. It's quite a workout. You can see that girl running back down. She ran up and down quite a few times. Off in the distance there you can see St. Louis. I did get a shot of that. You'll see here shortly. There was a large wooden structure on top built by the Native Americans at the time. Also later on in the 1800s the property was owned by a settler who built a house up here. It's been dug into several times by archaeologists and even the well was dug through it. Luckily the mound has survived. At the time that it was active there was a uh, wooden wall built all the way around wooden stockade as they call it. You can see a small reproduction sample kind of show somewhat what it might have looked like. You can see Monk's Mound in the distance there behind. Here's a sign that talks about the wall construction and shows different styles of walls that they had. There you see four different styles. And here's an illustration showing how they raised up the uh, tall heavy logs. And a, a diagram of the wall with the stockades along. Again there's Monk's Mound and as I zoom in you can see a figure on top. Gives you an idea of the scale of it. Further down the path there's a section of wall that's got like a stucco on it to represent the mud facing they would have put on originally. Looks a lot like stucco. We have a little gap here to go inside. Let's explore what's going on in there. Gives you some idea of what the construction looked like, although this is obviously more modern in the, some of the materials. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.